Hey guys, Abs here. Welcome to a demonstration of the Social Hub Builder. I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can use this tool and in this demonstration we're going to be going through the sign up process. Now in the actual sales video when I did show you this in action, I showed you how we can edit our account details, how we need to firstly add a profile then start editing our details. Uh, now you're going to have a full user manual as well. Now what I've just actually done to save us a bit of time is I've already created a GMX account as you can see from here and if I go over to my log results, sign up and if I go over to success, as you can see, I've got my log results down here. This was a file from yesterday. Now, what I want to point, sorry, I've actually updated this file today, um, but if you recall the video from yesterday, you'll actually notice this email down here. Um, now, the reason I updated this file today was because I actually used the linker script to link them as well. Now, one thing with this system, guys, um, is um, it can be fairly well it can spit out a lot of csv result files now what we need to do is work based on the actual um, timestamp on here so as you can see here this is the very latest one here 1256 on the 8th of no it isn't okay if we click on date modified it's going to give us the best one there so we've got we've got the 8th of march 2012 at 1259 if we have a look down here it's actually 101 at the moment so you can so you can actually see that i've actually only just created this email so this is my email account, GMX. It was a successful account that I've just created. And the reason I actually didn't, um, let me just save this over into the edit account details. I'm gonna enter this email in here. Now the reason I actually didn't um, didn't do a video on this was because I wanted to, because I was gonna actually go and build my own email account first um, and then enter it in here because emails can be one of the buggiest parts of this and you can actually create your emails away from the software and then enter it in here. Um, but instead what I did, I actually used a proxy. So as you can see from here, I had this proxy activated here. Well, I had loads of them, um, but I was using this proxy here um, and it successfully signed up. Um, yesterday I created a bunch of accounts as well with using my own IP and I want to use my own IP again. So um, what I've done is actually created this behind a proxy um, and now I've just deactivated and removed them proxies and I'm going to be start I'm going to select and sign up to them all these accounts now with my own IP now a number of them are going to fail um, because of my IP of course I only just signed up to them yesterday okay I'm going to deselect Yahoo Pulse, Yahoo Bookmarks and I'm also going to deselect um, Flickr now we've moved Flickr up here Okay, fantastic. So, oops, where have I gone? Okay, so what we need to do now is, okay, this is fine. I've pressed enter. I'm auto generating the work details. I'm going to account sign up. I'm gonna enable my capture services. Now again, guys, we have the account and the capture services in the general setting section. If you don't want to work with any of these capture services, then you can use your own captures just you can you can enter the captures yourself now i'm going to use a capture service i've got death by capture um i'm going to go over to the sign up script again i'm going to be brave and use 15 threads enable the capture choose my profile make sure it's working and click on start now this is going to go and sign up to all these accounts simultaneously and as you can see we've got a number of successes we're going to get some failures as well guys because we only just created a set of accounts yesterday and the set of accounts that i created yesterday were for um, the actual um, the actual demonstration to show you this in action. Okay, so let's just wait until this finishes. Working really well with my IP actually, considering that I actually created loads of accounts yesterday. So looking up and down here, we've actually got I think a better success than we actually got yesterday. So um, maybe um, it all depends on exactly how the sites can do. As you can see here, error in solving capture, error in solving capture. The software will come back to them as well. Okay, just a few more moments and we should get back. As you can see, the software is going back over and solving these captures again, trying to um get a good success for us there we go we just finished skyrock fantastic oh my yearbook just doesn't want to do it and nor does hig too try and vo all we need to do is wait until this goes back over to play
still solving a capture on the VO. So we're waiting for some responses back from Death by Capture as well. Okay, there we go. Um, it's gone back over to play there. We can actually try some manually as well. So if we want to try and manually, just click on the try manually button. So I'll go to curses. Don't know what that says. As you can see, it's still on start. So we're waiting for the responses for these websites now. So we're either trying to get a capture. So we're creating sign up and fault there, as you can see. Fantastic. Okay, so what we can do now is actually go over to the log of results and we can um, have a look based on timestamp again, look at the most recent one and then we can bring it up. Okay, so as we can see, this is our results file down here now and we have a total of 73 successful ones. Well, I think 72 actually uh, because we have the first one which is the list of actual headers um so that's 72 72 successful ones that we've done and we actually done 72 yesterday as well so that's fairly cool uh yesterday we didn't get success we didn't successfully do squiddy i don't think but that did actually come through hello text did actually come through as well um now a number of these were issues um because of the response not being noted back from the website as it should have been noted and then obviously we got the log of failed results as well oops not that log there failed here again we can go by timestamp this okay and here's a log of results this time it's come down to 20 uh, because obviously there was many that there was fewer sites that you actually um, failed on and it fewer attempts on the sites as well obviously depending on how we're actually getting them back so where you see only one live journal that means it failed on that attempt but then when it went to attempt again it actually went past it where it says site says obviously I was there um, it attempted it it didn't it didn't get to actually sign up to it the first time but when it attempted again it did do it so that's why it hasn't got the three attempts in there but as you can see we will try and um, mess around with the actual username uh, when we do do another attempt as well just to get a better success rate out of that as well um okay so this is exactly how you do the signups and now we'd head over to email verification there's a number of things to do with email verification um before we do actually um start verifying it in within within the software now i'm not 100 i'm not 100 sure how gmx is going to take my ip now let's have a look let's see if i can log into gmx because i've only just logged into gmx a little while ago Let's see, um, and that was with the that was with a different account altogether. And I'm not using a proxy, you see, but I actually signed up to them with a proxy. So let's see if they're gonna like me or not. Okay, time to log into GMX. Fantastic, letting me in. Brilliant stuff. They didn't let me sign up from my own IP, so I had to use a private proxy and I was able to get in there. Okay, so the very first thing that we're gonna do is go to the spam folder and we're gonna move everything from the spam and say it's not spam, so it's gonna go over to our inbox. As you can see from the inbox, it only says we've got 60 emails. Now, there's a few things that we can do. We can either wait a few hours um, and then come back and verify them because we will start getting some email, emails getting sent through as well. But some things to also note as well is uh, when you do open the manual and you have a look at the, at the accounts that need manual email verification, um, like earlier on I was doing it, and sites like LinkedIn and identity.ca, uh, they didn't even send me the email. Um, and I was like, oh, and when I logged into the site, I was able to actually get them to send me the email then. Um, so, it, you know, you can give it a little time to actually log in. Um, you can give it a bit of time before you want, before you actually start verifying the emails. Um, but don't be alarmed if you see fewer emails in there um, because they do still exist. So, I mean, the reporting on, on the actual system is fairly accurate. Well, quite accurate to be, to be honest. Um, if there's anything that's out, it's gonna report it as being failed. Um, like even if it was a successful sign up but the response wasn't correct something that we need to keep our um, what we need to keep ahead of okay so I've moved everything to spam folder there's a number of things that we need to do there's blip.fm that needs a that has a default password um, there's a few more accounts that need manual verification everything's noted inside of the actual um, inside of the user manual I'm not going to do any of that yet because I just want to show you this in action um, okay I'll stop this 
okay i'm not going to do that yet because I, I really haven't um it, i do know to all out in the manual um i've just gone through doing this and i didn't even make a video about it and i should have um but let's have a look let's go to gmx i'll show you how to do the email verification now okay where are my account details gone success and this time i'm gonna copy it from there okay email verification choose gmx pop server username is the full email pop server password is the full password associated with the email i'm going to use let's say 72 threads and i'm going to click on start verification and this is going to connect with gmx now and it's going to start to collect the emails to start off with as you can see it's collecting the emails i'm also logged in here as well i don't know if that's going to have an impact so i'll quickly click out of that and it's going to start collecting the emails before it's going to actually start to verify them so um, the actual threads kick in when it's verifying the emails uh, when it's collecting the emails and it's going to have to collect it um, how it's collecting it now so as soon as it's collecting the emails it's going to start doing some rapid verifications and rapid link visiting okay so here we go and it's going to note down the emails down here as well Okay guys, so the email verification has been done. We can see from there it's saying start verification and the emails actually get noted down here as well. Now I think this actually just picks up any random emails but it does actually visit all the links. Okay, so our next step would be obviously to link the websites to our hubs. Now the way it actually works is we'd load our hub inside, we'd load our CSV inside of here um, and link our accounts to our hubs. Um, I'm gonna be showing you how to do this on the next video demonstration. Thank you very much and I hope this was fairly straightforward.